In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the Divi Builder login module. What this does is place a login form on your post or page that allows your visitors to log in to their WordPress account. Now, you may be using your WordPress account for different things. For example, you might want your, to allow your subscribers to log in or your authors to log in. Or you might be using it um, as a CRM system or you might be selling products through WooCommerce. There's various reasons you might want to have a login form that allows people to log into the back end of the dashboard to access their members area. And so you can use the login form to present that login form um, in a great way. Now, if you're already logged in, you're not going to see a login form. So if you're wondering why when you, when you add a login form to the page um, and you preview the page, there's no login form, well, that's because you're already logged in. So there's no need to log in again. In this case, um, here's, here's a preview of the login form um, as it appears when you're logged out. And you can, you, know, control, you can add a background color, a title, some text, and then um, there's just a standard login form here, uh, forgot password link, uh, just standard login stuff. So here's an example with the blue background, here's with no background, and so on. So here's an example of a page, and I'm going to add a login form to the page uh, just to give you an example of how this module works. So <clears throat> I might have a, you know, a blog page, or I might have um, some kind of membership page, and in the sidebar, I'm going to add that login module so that um, my customers can log into their account. So I'm going to edit the page. And then in the sidebar here, I'm going to click the Insert Modules button and look for that um, login module. So here it is right here. And once you click that, you're going to be presented with the various login module settings. And as with any Divi Builder module, settings are broken up into three different tabs. General Settings, Advanced Design Settings, and Custom CSS. A general rule of thumb, everything you need to create an awesome page with the Divi Builder can be found inside the General Settings. But if you want to um, have even more control over the appearance of your module, then you can move on into the Advanced Design Settings and Custom CSS tabs to customize just about everything. And here inside these tabs, you can really customize every aspect of the module um, and really uh, change it and make it look um, however you want to, to match you know, your own, your own, your own uh, unique style. So you can uh, adjust font, font sizes, colors, uh, fonts themselves, uh, line height, letter spacing, padding, margins, everything. But um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the general settings tab. So if you want to learn more about advanced design settings and custom CSS, be sure to check out those tutorials on the uh, in the documentation because I have individual tutorials for both of those. So moving on to the general settings, the first thing is the title. This is the what appears at the top of the form um, in a larger text. So I might just say, you know, log in here. Now you can also choose to have the um, user logged, um, redirected back to the page that they logged in at, or you can have them um, just log in um, to the actual WordPress dashboard. Uh, for example, you might have some kind of locked content on the page that is only unlocked when you log in, and in that case, um, it would be more intuitive just to redirect the person right back to the page they started at, and then once they're logged in, they'll be able to view whatever content you had hidden for logged in users. You can choose to use a background color, and if you do choose to use a background color, you can customize that background color here. So, um, you know, use whatever color you want. I'll change it to green, and you can choose the text color as well. So, if you have chosen a dark background color, you probably want to use light text so it becomes readable. And if you chose a light background color or no background color, and your um, parent section is white, well, you'd want to use a dark text color in that case so that it's readable as well. Next up is the text orientation, and you can choose between left, right, centered, or justified. In this case, I'm going to keep it centered. And then you can also add a bit of text below your title, which will appear um, above the opt-in form. So I'm just going to put in some random text here, but you might want to describe what the login form is for or invite your users to log in um, to access their account. Now, at any time when you're configuring a module, you can get a quick preview of what you're working with by clicking the preview icon, and that will render the current module inside of its parent section, and you can get an idea how it looks. So here I've added the login module here, and since I'm logged in, I actually don't see the form, which is uh, something I mentioned earlier. And so yeah, I have my green background color, and it's looking pretty good. 
So I'm going to save and exit, and I'm going to drag this to the top because I actually want it to appear at the top of my sidebar. I'm going to update the page and take a look on the front end. So I'm going to go back here where to my, uh, oops. I'm going to take a look at this page here in, my, in logged out form so you can get an idea what it looks like when you're logged out. Here we go. I'm copy and paste this URL real quick. Okay, so here we have our page. Um, I'm logged out, and you can see the form here has been added to our sidebar. It says login here, and then the visitor can input their username and password to log in. Now, like I said, there's also various advanced design settings that you can configure, so just to give you a very brief overview of those, um, you can customize all kinds of stuff in that, in that advanced design settings tab. So I'm going to bring up the um, module settings again and switch over to advanced design settings. And you can, for example, change the header font, uh, maybe make it bold and all caps, uh, adjust the size if you want to. You can change the color, letter spacing, all kinds of stuff. Um, for this particular module, the custom button styles are nice. So you could change everything about the button from size to color to spacing to border, um, anything you want here. So, you know, for example, let me change the background color to something like red, which will really stand out against the green. And um, using the preview functionality is great here. So I'm going to preview what I've, what I've changed so far. And you can see I got the, the bigger title here, with which is bold and all caps. And I also increased the font size. So that's looking good. So I'm going to save and exit. And then to get a look at that button I created, I'm going to refresh our logged out page. And you can see, so I've changed the button to red. And then our um, title got a lot bigger and bolder, and it's starting to look really good. So I think I'm happy with it. I'm going to keep it there. And yep, that's a basic overview of the Divi Builder login module.